Hello friends, welcome back to WBC Soul. Today I am going to give you the third series in the river system and it is the last series because I will complete the entire Brahmaputra system west flowing and east flowing rivers of India. Okay, now let's move to the Brahmaputra river system. As we can see that the Brahmaputra is one of the longest rivers of the world. Its uh, length is 2900 km. It originated from Chemyu Gung. Remember the name Chemya Yungdung. Not re need to remember. Sorry, Chemya Dung Glacier in the Kailash Mansur. Just remember, Kailash it originated from Tibet. I already told in the Brahmaputra, Arup and Satluj are antecedent river. They do not have originated with origin within India. It passes in Indus. Okay, it passes in Indus the Sangpu Sachiro zone. That is this river. That is India and Brahmaputra zone. As uh, between Great Himalayan Kailasan. It enters India is the Bang. When it enters India, it's known as the Bang. It Namcha Barwa is a mountain which makes it a U. Remember, the river was flowing like that and it suddenly makes a U-turn from Namcha Barwa mountain. Okay. And the at that time it is known as the Bang. It is not Brahmaputra right now. Okay. It is the Bang. Okay, so it is my Dibang River, okay, sir, and it is my Lohit River. After merger. Remember, it entered into Assam near Sadia Plain. Remember, a Vijay Hazarika bridge was made from Sadia Assam to Arunachal Pradesh. So, these are the Sadia's place of Assam. After Sadia, it is known as Brahmaputra because its tributary Lohit meets from here. Tributary Lohit meets from here. So, not the Dibang and Lohit after meeting is known as Brahmaputra. What are the important tributaries of Brahmaputra? That is Manas. We already can see that the Manas is from here. And Subansri, that is from here. Dibang already given there, Lohit given there, and Kapili. Kapili, remember from Barail range. Kapili from Barail range. Okay. Now, one more important river is giving there that is Dhansri from Naga Hills. Okay. And Dibang Dam in Arunachal Pradesh and Tipai Mukh Dam. Dibang, remember, Dibang Dam, obviously the name Dibang is on Arunachal Pradesh and Tipai Mukh Dam is on Barak River. Barak is a river here. And Loktak Lake is in Manipur. Three important Dibang Dam, Arunachal Pradesh, Tapai Dam that is on Barak River. Okay. And Loktak Lake is on Manipur. Now let's move. Now it is the Brahmaputra. The Brahmaputra is coming. Now it has entered into the Bangladesh. Okay. It's okay. It is uh, entered Bengal, Ganga entered through B Bengal. Okay. Now what will happen? It enters Bangladesh as Jamuna. From here onwards, this portion is known as Jamuna. Okay. It merged Ganga, ultimately known as Padma. When these two meets, now it becomes Padma. Now one more river Meghna comes from Bangladesh and meets here. So, from here to here, it is known as Padma and after meeting with Meghna, it becomes Meghna. Now, the largest delta formation is of the world, that is Ganga Brahmaputra Delta, is this. Okay, remember that the remember that the Dibrugal and the Gohat is on the Brahmaputra river system. Okay, I told you about Barak River. This is the Barak River which originated from Naga Hills. Okay, and Tiphai Fum Dam in Manipur is located on the Barak River. Okay. Now, the Brahmaputra river system ends. Now, we will move to west flowing rivers and east flowing river of peninsular India. Now, let's move to the, first of all, west flowing river. We can see in the peninsular India, there are only two west flowing major river system. That is Narmada here and Tapi here. Remember, today I am giving you one trick and one very important information. Three main rivers of India. Three. First one is Narmada, second one is Son, and third one is Mahanadi. These three originated from Amar Kantak Plateau. Narmada flows through western sides mahanadi eastern side and so on northern sides okay now now the narmada and tapi but why do if the slope is like that i told you that slope is like that so why they are flowing in this way they are important reasons okay what are the reasons i will tell you most of the river even all of the river of peninsula in india are flowing through eastwards only narmada and tapi are flowing through westwards east flowing river we can say the damodar suvan rekha mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri etc as we know now, let's come to the Narmada. Narmada is very important. It is 1057 km long and its uh, source is none other than Amar Kantak. I already told you. It's flowing to the rift valley between Vindhyachal and Satpula. This is Vindhyachal and this is Satpula. And Narmada is flowing through that. That is why it is able to flow western wide. Otherwise, none of the river is able to flow western wide. And it flows between in a rift valley between Vindhyachal and Satpula. So, there is a rift valley created and it is very easy to flow in the rift valley. That is why Narmada is flowing in the western side. 
now from madhya pradesh maharashtra and gujarat okay uh, dhuandhar fall is on mp that is in jabalpur it is very important dhuandhar fall is in narmada and in jabalpur and it is in mp it is much near behruj in gujarat we can say that in gujarat behruj okay sardar sarovar dam it is very important dam it was in the news that is in गुजरात बारगी डैम इन जबलपुर ऑब्वियसली इन मध्य प्रदेश इंदिरा सागर डैम अगेन ऑन द मध्य प्रदेश तावर डैम ऑन द तावर रिवर ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ नर्मदा इन एमपी ओके एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट बारगी डैम नर्मदा सागर डैम ओमकरेश्वर डैम अगेन इन द मार यू कैन से इन द मध्य प्रदेश महेश्वर डैम अगेन ऑन द मध्य प्रदेश तो दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट डैम्स ऑफ नर्मदा रिवर रिमेंबर इच एंड एवरी ओके and i told you tawar dam is also in the madhya pradesh but it is not on the narmada river it is on the tributary of narmada that is tawar okay now now come to the tapi it uh, sources from betul plateau in madhya pradesh this is the betul plateau it originated from india and it flows south of the satpura important tributary is purna river it merges into sea near gujarat now from madhya pradesh to maharashtra and gujarat ukai dam remember ukai dam ukai dam near surat and surat is located on tapi Ukai Dam near Surat and Kakra Pada project is on at is on at uh, you can say Tapi. So Ukai Dam is on Tapi and Kakra Pada is on Tapi and Surat is on the Tapi River. So only these two rivers flow west right because we can say they are making a root valley. The length is seven hundred twenty four kilometer and most of the even all of the river now will flow western side. But there are few western flows river here that is Aravalli that is uh, Sabarmati from Aravalli range. Uh, originate from here and vindhyachal from vindhyachal as already told the mahi from here so these two are also west flowing river to so aravalli from aravalli there is sabarmati and from mahi from vindhyachal okay now we can see now there are uh, west flowing rivers from western ghats now the western ghat is like that and from the western ghat the west flowing river maintains a very short distance even not of 100 km because western ghat the the, the the distance between western ghat and arabian sea is very less so if the some river originate from western ghat either it may go to the eastern side that is bay of bengal very long distance or to the western ghat that is very short distance so few river from western ghats flows through mahanadi river we can see that after gujarat western ghat starts so western ghat there will be no west flowing river because it is western ghat and it is bay of bengal if the river is flowing through western ghat it will cover a very short distance okay and it will go this way this way this way that is eastern side it will cover a very long distance okay now we can say the mandvi and juwar is in goa and panji is on the mandvi river remember goa there are a lot of juwari so it is juwari river and mandvi that is a island of kancha china in agnipath so is it is it easy to remember now let's move to the west flowing river there are kali nadi saravati in karnataka kali nadi saravati and nehrauli three rivers remember in karnataka there are three neither kali nadi saravati and netravali three rivers in the karnataka and goa we have seen two rivers juwari and mandvi ओके इन कर्नाटका थ्री काली नदी सरावती एंड नेत्रावती एंड वी नो दैट द सरावती दैट इज द जॉक सरावस्ती जॉक फॉल और गाटसोप्पा जॉक फॉल इज द हाइएस्ट जॉक फॉल इन इंडिया इज लोकेटेड इन द सरावती रिवर इन कर्नाटका ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव द पेरियार एंड पंबा रिवर इन केरला नाउ द अन्नामलाई हिल्स पेरियार रिवर एंड काडमम हिल्स पंबा रिवर उद्दुकी डैम इज इन केरला ओके रिमेंबर नाउ वेस्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर्स एंड नाउ द कम्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज द ईस्टर्न फ्लोइंग रिवर्स ऑफ इंडिया In the eastern flowing, the most important is the, sorry for us it is the Modar River because it is originated from Chota Nagpur Plateau. Sources and tributaries Badakar and the Iron Steel Factory is located on that. Okay, now let's have a detail of the river of West Bengal. That is the Tista originated from Jammu. Remember whatever information I am saying, it is very important for WBCs. Tista originated from Jammu Glacier, Himachal Pradesh tributary as Rangit. Okay, after that Mahananda, Mahananda it is from Pagla Jhala Falls and Kali Nadi. it's uh, mahi it's kali nadi mehi and balchuna are the tributaries of ganga mahananda is the largest river of north india remember after that jal dhaka from bidang lake okay and torsa and biral khol torsa and biral khol are the tributary now the rivers of the chota nagpur the modar which is known as the soro bangal we know that khamarpur hills badakar 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 konar etc are the tributaries mayurakshi from trikut hill and barkeshwar 
and the mother of the tributaries now the haldia joint flow of kali ghai and kangnavati and suvarna rekha from chota nagpur predict these are the important rivers of bengal now the dams dams are important the badaka the main dams are maithan dam in jharkhand balaphadi and tilaiya in jharkhand okay bokaro on bokaro river this bokaro dam konar the main dam is konar and the other main dams are barmo and panchet no sir say that you skip no i didn't skip there are the dams are given in very detail konar dam it was constructed across konar river a tributary of the modar river in hazaribagh in jharkhand and opened in 1955 1955 farakka barrage it is a terminal barrage the project has led to dispute between india and bangladesh as the bangladesh claim that the project has adversely affected its water supply maithan dam as we know that maithan dams is located in Maithan Dam is located in uh, Badakar River at Maithan, 48 km from Dhamdad in Jharkhand. These are the important dams of Bengal. Let's move. Now come to the East Bengal River. That is the Suvarn Rekha by Tarani. So this is Suvarn Rekha. Okay. This is by Tarani. Okay. And this is Brahmi. So what are the importance? Remember Suvarn Rekha by Tarani. Suvarn Rekha from Rancho Plateau we can see. Jamshedpur is on Suvarn Rekha. That is in here. By Tarani from Garjat Hills. Okay. Brahmi Headward Stream South Kiol. and sunk from chota nagpur plateau south kiol and chota nagpur plateau mills to make brahmi so these are the important rivers of eastern india now we are moving now it is mahanadi two river narmada i told you son i told you now the mahanadi these three originate from obviously i told you amarkanta so, uh, so we can see that mahanadi 858 km long is the water dispute between chatisgarh and odisha now the water dispute starts okay now chatisgarh is saying we want more water odisha is saying we more, more we want more water source is none other than danda karnia near amarkanta in chatisgarh now the left bank we can see left bank are shionath hasdo and man shionath hasdo and man and right bank are tel jong and ong tel it was usually argued that the tel is a tributary of which river so remember tel is a tributary of mahanadi okay now hirakund dam that is the longest tikra pala okay and naraj dam the three dams are in odisha and all the three dams are on mahanadi hirakund tikra pala and naraj and sambalpur and katak is on mahanadi so these are the importance of mahanadi river draw it on your map now the small river odisha sometimes asking the question that is ruskilia source is nayagarh hills mouth known for hatching site of olid uh, olive ridley turtles so it is at the important turtles now it is going to be enders so they can be asked question somewhere okay and the chilka lake is located near ruskulia river now let's move to the godavari that is also known as dakshin ganga see the length it is the most long river in the south india that is why it is known as dakshin ganga ganga of south is different thing dakshin ganga is different thing it is known as dakshin ganga because of length the source is obviously we can the source is trimbak plateau near nasik there is, uh, we can see the godavari that is the trimbak plateau near nasik so obviously nasik will be located in that lead bank tributary is the pen ganga it is the pen ganga okay and it is the ven ganga okay and it is the vardha and when the three meets it becomes pranhita so remember godavari it is a lady name and all the rivers are lady name pen ganga vardha ven ganga indravati sabari sileru manjara balghat all are ladies name and godavari itself a ladies name so whenever ven ganga pen ganga it is easy to remember godavari because ram ganga jo ki ram ki ganga maili ho gayi hai is the tribute tree of ganga now let's move okay now what are the important right bank tributaries manjara as i already told and all other are left bank tributary nizam sagar sri ram sagar dam which is also known as puchampulu sri ram sagar dam that is in andhra pradesh is known as puchampulu dam nizam sagar of uh, in andhra pradesh is on uh, godavari river and pulavaram dam is in andhra pradesh in godavari river okay now let's move to the krishna 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 is very important river its length is 1327 km you can say the source is western ghat near mahabaleshwar so this is the our krishna river it originated from mahabaleshwar in maharashtra okay now here water dispute between andhra and karnataka obviously now the water dispute will increase now because it is not a rain fed river if water will go down in summer and people needs a lot of water for irrigation and drinking and in southern india we will see a lot of water dispute now the first one is of the mahanadi i told you godavari there is no major dispute but in krishna there are disputes disputes between andhra and karnataka led by tri tributaries led by the musi sina and bhima we can say it is musi sina 
and Bhima and right bank tributaries Ghat Prabha we can see Mal Prabha we can see and Tung Bhadra and Hagari Tung Bhadra and Hagari Tung Bhadra very important river Koina Dam that is in the Maharashtra is on the Koina River that is the tributary of Krishna okay Nagarjun Sagar Dam it is now important Nagarjun Sagar Nagarjun Sagar is located in Andhra Pradesh and it is also a dispute between Andhra and Karnataka water bit from Nagarjun Sagar Dam now the water dispute here also Sri Salem that is in Kurlo in Andhra Pradesh Sri Salem Dam, Almati Dam, again in the Karnataka, you know, on Andhra, uh, Karnataka on Krishna River. Vijayawada is located on that. Had Vijayawada is located on Krishna River, and Hyderabad is located on Musi River, and Kurnul is located on Tungbhadra River, and Tungbhadra Dam is on the Tungbhadra River. Now let's move after the Krishna. There is a Penori River that is first near Nandi Durgi Mount in Karnataka. Its tributary is Kunar, Charavati, Papaghi, and Punchu. Okay, now let's move to the Kaveri River that is the Ganga of South because we can see the length is not but population and a lot of tributaries are there. So it is known as the Ganga of South. The length is 805 km and it is source near source near Tal Kaveri at Brahmagiri Hills. Now source as Tal Kaveri Brahmagiri Hills. It originate near Kerala flows from Karnataka then to Tamil Nadu to Puducherry. The major water dispute between Tamil, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka but sometimes Kerala and Puducherry also comes now if they will give the option Tamil Nadu Kerala Puducherry and uh, uh, Karnataka then all the four will be given and then all the four will be right otherwise major disputes are between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu Okay, now the left bank tributary is Sima and Hemavati. They are asked that what are the left bank? The Sima and Hemavati, right bank tributary is Kavani, Bhavani, Noili, Amravati. Metro Dam, that is also known as Stanley Dam, is in Tamil Nadu, is located on the Kaveri River. And Krishna Saga Dam is on the Kaveri River in the Karnataka. Trichupalli and Sriranga Patnam is on the Kaveri River. Remember, Trichupalli and Sriranga Patnam is on the Kaveri River. Now let's move to one more important river. That is Vaigai. Vaigai is source near Vasudhan Hills. Okay, Madurai located on Vaigai. It is dry channel but suddenly disappear then again reappear. So this is Vaigai. Okay, this question asked. Okay, now let's move. Uh, what are the important facts of Indian river system? It is very important. Catchment, catchment area and the river basin. So suppose the river is long, but it may don't have the much catchment area. So the questions asked in the examination the important catchment area which have the most uh, catchments area in India. So we can see the catchments area in the decreasing order. The Ganga is maximum. Then Godavari. Then Indus. Then Krishna. Then Brahmaputra. Then Mahanadi. Then Narmada and Kaveri. And the length wise Ganga maximum in India. All India Godavari. Krishna, Yamuna, Mahanadi, Narmada and Kaveri equal Brahmaputra, Ganga, Brahmaputra, Ghagra and Chambar. So these are the some factual information. Now friends, what you have to do after onwards? You have to do nothing but draw, take a diagram of Indian rivers and take a diagram of Indian river basin and draw it at your own. Okay? Thank you very much. Do share and promote. Give your opinion in the comment box. Thank you.